All right, guys, back with some more stuff from the card show that I went to last weekend. This is all from the same seller from all of his different bargain bins. Got some baseball, basketball, and football. Just going to do the baseball in this video. I'll do these other ones in a different video. But yeah, I've talked about this seller before. He's the guy that always used to have like a lot of the cool 90s inserts real cheap. And then last show I went to, he wasn't there. And this show he was back, but his setup was kind of different. Like he seemed to be focused more on vintage stuff in the showcases and off to the side he still had some bargain bins but he didn't have like a lot of 90s inserts anymore he just had a lot of refractors and numbered cards so I was just rummaging through there found some cool stuff different stuff for my different binders like Puerto Rican players and some Yankees some stuff for other people too got this Sterling Hitchcock was a Yankee twice, didn't really do much either time with the Yankees, but nice card. And these were all seven for a dollar, so I just kept throwing stuff on the stack. After a while, I kind of lost count. I just told him, I don't even know how many I have in there. Thankfully, he kind of took over and kept track of it for me. There's another one for the Puerto Rican collection. I didn't even realize Omar Oliveras pitched so long. Look at all those stats he was pitching from the early 90s all the way to 2002. But yeah, I just found a lot of stuff like that. There's some team cards. You know, we got a few Indians guys around here. So these are all O2 chrome refractors. There's one for the Astros guys. I guess I can throw that into one of the Mets binders. He did have some inserts. Got this. Delgado Power Alley number to 2500 so yeah I was standing there for like a half hour looking through all that stuff which I would have loved to have stayed there longer but after a while your back starts to cramp up your neck starts to cramp up here's a 98 SPX I believe David Cohn these were the base cards but all the base cards were numbered at 9000 Here's an Edgar. There's a different version. There's a Spectrum. Way more shine on that one. These were at a 2250. So again, this is mostly the type of stuff I like to pick up at the car shows, but unfortunately not a lot of people set up these kind of bargain bins anymore. Here's a more recent insert. R.A. Dickey. Was a really good pitcher with the Mets. Seems like a really nice guy too. There was like a movie or documentary about knuckleballers a few years ago and he was part of it. Went through a lot in his life, kind of persevered. And like I said, found stuff for other people. So Egg, if you need that, let me know. Todd Helton, inside view. Out of 1250. So again, I think pretty much all the non-refractor stuff I picked up were numbered. Got this Sheffield number to 650. Blue border from Victory. So again, I could have just stayed there adding stuff all day. Don't believe I mentioned the total for all this stuff was 13 bucks for all three sports of the stuff I got. So less than the cost of a blaster. And got a ton of cool stuff. A ton of random stuff too. Got this Kevin Cash rookie. Rays manager. Number to 1999. That would be kind of cool to get signed, even though I think you could get his autos for like five bucks. Got another old Blue Jay there, Gustavo Chassin. I remember he had a few decent years, always played well against the Yankees. Here's one for Zombie Collector Masato Yoshi Refractor. I think Zombie Collector got several cards in this stack, found a lot of cool Japanese player stuff here's one for the Cubs guys Mark Pryor so I guess the way I'll do this if any Cubs fan wants this just let me know in the comment section number to 1500 so first Cub fan to claim that I'll send it to you got another Puerto Rican player here Julius Matos Another Japanese player, Kazuhisa Ishii. The numbering on that was kind of different. It's 
in black, this one's in silver. Another Puerto Rican player, Ramon Vasquez. Rookie at a 1875. So again, a lot of this type of stuff is stuff that wouldn't really interest most people. That's why he puts it out there so cheap. But to me, this is stuff I'm mainly looking for. That's a cool one, 2000 refractor. Again, a lot of us have said it, but these older refractors just shine so much better. And this guy had no idea who he was, but check to see if it was Puerto Rican, and sure enough, he was. So I'll add that to the Puerto Rican catchers binder. As I've said, there have been so many Puerto Rican catchers. And out of that same set found in Alex Cora, Red Sox manager, but more important to me, he's Puerto Rican. Got this Alfonso Soriano with Nick Johnson on the other side. It should have had both sides with that chrome finish. But it still has some of that refractor shine on the back. Pretty sure I have the base of this, but not the refractor. More Puerto Rican players. Alex Rios. So the Puerto Rican PC really got helped out with this stack. Here's some more of them. Got a Ricky Lede. Puerto Rican player and a former Yankee. Another Puerto Rican player, Felipe Lopez. Again, so many of these are so cool. Like a lot of these, I would pay a dollar each. So seven for a dollar was an awesome deal. Delgado Gold Refractor. There's another one for Jason. Shigatoshi Hasegawa. Black Refractor. Got a couple Jose Contreras Refractors. Didn't pitch very well as a Yankee, but pitched well with the White Sox. Helped them win a World Series. And again, just a nice card for the Yankee Binders. And that's a rookie card. And here's a gold refractor from his second year so I don't have a lot of cards of them so figured I'd get those and throw those into the pile there's another Yankee that I don't have a lot of cards of former Yankee Todd Zeal barely remember him as a Yankee he played with like 10 teams in his career but yeah I guess he spent like one year with the Yankees and pretty sure I don't have any cards of him with New York especially something nice like that from that same set, here's a Preston Wilson. I mentioned it a long time ago, but I had a Preston Wilson side PC years ago. I still have pretty much all the cards from it. I just don't pick anything up for it anymore. Here's an Omar Vizquel from 03. So yeah, I guess most of the stuff I got here were refractors. There's some different stuff in the basketball pile. There you got Big Sexy, Bartolo Colon. Another Puerto Rican, Joel Pinero. These are really cool here. These are from 05. Nice Tory Hunter. Garrett Anderson. This guy was a tremendous hitter. Professional hitter. Used to kill the Yankees. And Mike Lowell. And here's a non refractor, but prospect card of Barry Zito. I have all three of those, what I call the big three of the Oakland A's back then, Hudson, Mulder, and Zito. I have all three of them in some binder pages, so I'll add that in there. And that one's numbered to 4999. Yeah, another Japanese player. So again, Zombie Collector made out with this stack. Koji Uehara. Threw his Edwin Encarnacion in there. Not pictured with the Yankees, so... Not really sure where this will end up, but just too good to pass up. Just like I said, kept adding stuff to the pile. A few more here, and I'll wrap this one up. Here's a really sweet one. Another one of the Oakland Big Three from back in the day. Still can't believe they didn't win a championship with that rotation. That's a really nice Tim Hudson. Not numbered. Can't believe some of this stuff is not numbered. And last two here, a couple nice ones for the Yankee collection. Got a CC Camo Prism. 
and then Alfonso Soriano. So again, pretty sweet stuff there and very cheap. So very happy to walk away with that stack. So that's it for the baseball. I'll do the other stuff in another video. So catch you guys next time.